Harinder Baveja, editor investigations, now joins me from Ahmedabad for the latest on this case. Harinder, you've tracked this case very, very closely. Now, at this point of time, what this verdict will do tomorrow is also put an end to a very major controversy. Justice UC Banerjee report said it was accidental fire in coach S6. Justice Nanavati report seemed to indicate that there was no accidental fire. There was a conspiracy and a, a deliberate fire took place. This verdict will put an end to that controversy. Well, I'm not sure whether it will really put an end to that controversy, Gaurav. Of course, the key question that the court is examining and will it give its verdict on tomorrow is on whether there was a pre-planned conspiracy uh, that led to the burning of the S6 coach of the Savarbati Express or was it an accidental fire caused by the skirmish that broke out on the railway platform that day, there was an altercation, uh, we should remind our viewers, between the car sevaks in the train and um, some of the members of the Muslim community, uh, mostly the vendors who were there uh, selling tea and uh, other such items, there was an attempt to molest a girl. She's also testified and has been cross-examined by the judge in the court. So the key question really is uh, whether it was a pre-planned conspiracy. The Chief Minister of Gujarat, Narendra Modi, has gone on record on several occasions to say that it was a conspiracy hatched by the ISI. So was okay. it a pre-planned conspiracy or was it, as I said, a skirmish that led to the accidental firing that in, that in turn the led to fire. the yeah. tragic death okay. of 59... Car Sevaks is uh, the key question that will definitely get answered tomorrow. Okay. But uh, remember, 2002 is a huge fault line, and whichever way uh, the verdict goes, the one set of families for sure are not going to be very happy with what is pronounced tomorrow in court. Indeed, and also joining me now from Ground Zero, from Godra, is Mosiki Acharya, my colleague who's been traveling across Gujarat before this verdict. Mosiki, the fault lines that came in 2002, uh, is, is there a feeling on, on, on each side that perhaps it's time to move on? There, there should be a sense of closure. You've been speaking to a cross-section of people. What is it that you're picking up? Well, Gaurav, one thing is very clear that even though the incident happened almost nine years back on 27th February 2002, it is 21st February now. It's been almost nine years, but none of the sides have forgotten what happened on that day. While most of these people who were picked up from Godra and are languishing in jail for nine years want justice, they want their beloved ones to return home. On the other hand, we spoke to the car savers who lost their family, keen uh, relatives on that fateful day who were burned to death in on the S6 coach of Sabarmati Express. They want some sort of justice. They say that they have waited long enough and even if it's been nine long years, they hope that tomorrow when the judge comes to the court, there is justice for each one of them who are hoping that justice will finally be delivered, even if it has taken such a long time. Okay. What's the kind of security that's been put in place on Ground Zero, Mosiki? Well, there is huge uh, uh, patrolling, there are huge amount of troops which have been deployed not just in Godra but also in some of the key areas in Ahmedabad. We walked okay. into this town just two hours back and we saw that uh, almost uh, uh, 1,500 State Reserve Police personnel have been deployed across the town. Uh, we are at okay. Godra Railway Station and uh, police personnel have been deployed here too. They are going to ensure that no one okay. here, uh, they are going to ensure that there is no untoward incident here and they want to uh, see that the entire judgment day passes off peacefully here. Let's so indeed hope so. For the moment, Mosiki Acharya and Harinder Baveja, many thanks for joining us.